Today I wanted to share with you how my son's nails look very very bad. He likes to rip his nails so that has been a problem for generation to generation. I do the same thing and it's a bad habit. So today I will be showing you what I do to help him with you know with the nail ripping. The first thing that we need to do is of course prep his nails just like when you're gonna do acrylics or when you're gonna do any type of of nail work okay i do want to make sure that his cuticles are pushed back and as you can see um, his cuticles were kind of hard okay so right after that i'm going to be using uh, my drill and i use a tip that is not harsh on your nail it's actually you know you don't feel much okay so that's going to help me to push back those cuticles as you can see here his nails are super short right after that i will be uh, cutting those cuticles and again I haven't done his nails in a while and that's why they look so so bad okay so I did this procedure before and his nails got longer and hopefully I can show you that later as you can see you work with alcohol you work with with whatever you have you don't really have to have a drill you can also just use a hand file And now I am ready to uh, dehydrate his nails and I will be also applying some of that primer and um, then I'm gonna go ahead and continue with a clear top gel and uh, practically I will be using the dipping method I will be using clear acrylic the goal here is to thicken his nails that way he is not able to rip them right off and um, and I told him that I will be checking his nails if he tries to rip them if he tries to rip them off I will be aware I will know right away so I'm not gonna dip his nails in the acrylic because um, sometimes you cause um, like uh, pebbles or whatnot so after you dip them uh, I will be curing the um, the nails with in the lamp for 30 was it 30 no 20 seconds and uh, I started with five just to make sure it wasn't gonna hurt his hands but he's fine I did the dipping procedure three times practically um, you put the top coat you put the acrylic then you cure and the same thing for three times uh, for the top coat I decided to use a matte top coat that way they they don't shine he didn't want anything shiny or whatnot here you can see the difference between his two fingernails one looks thicker than the natural one and here you can see both of his little hands done